Hi guys, welcome to Tuesday Talk. So as you know by now, we ask our channel members to give suggestions for a subject that we can do on Tuesday Talk. So this week's suggestion was from Darlene of DIYs by Dar. She wants to know the best way to seal transfers on glass and wood and also paint inlays on glass and wood. So that's what we're gonna do. So I have this frame here and it's just got the glass in it. It doesn't have a back in it and it already has this string. It's probably super old. It's wood. Um, so I'm probably gonna paint the frame and I'm gonna put a transfer on the glass. Um, Darlene also asked about putting transfers on mirrors. Mirrors and glass, um, you know, the same same process, same thing. Um, but what I'm going to do is put the transfer on here. And I haven't decided whether I want to keep the transfer just on there and then have it hanging on the wall and you just see the wall through, you know, leave it on the plain glass or make a mirror out of it uh, by using the um, mirror spray. So you have to stick around to see the results of that, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this. So first I wanna get those um, things lifted up that hold the glass in so I can remove it. Cause I don't want to press um, on the glass rub a transfer on the glass without this being flat on my table because otherwise I could easily break the glass and we don't want to do that. I'm just using a little spatula to get under these things and pull them up. Fortunately, they're all intact. That's not usually the case on old uh, frames. I don't know how long that string will hold up, but it's been there for ages, I can tell. Um, they just put tacks in there to hold it. And I think that's charming. <laughs> I could easily update it, but I like that. So the glass comes out easily. I might clean that up just a little bit more, but this frame is just beautiful. Very good condition. Glass makes me nervous sometimes. Um, I do a lot with glass, and I just had some glass cut. Um, if you check out Saturday's video, I had some glass cut from my windows that I was replacing. They clean them up and polish them up a lot nicer than they used to, because this is super sharp. You can tell this is old. Okay, so we have our glass in place. And this is the transfer that I'm choosing. And I think I'm gonna leave it all exactly the way it is because it has writing on the bottom. I wouldn't wanna change that because it's just divided up by the stem. Now I could explode the butterfly out a little bit. I could cut this and bring the printing down a little bit more, but I kinda like putting it in the center just like this and you know, just in case I would decide to leave it as is. But I wanna make sure that I have it uh, centered properly. But the grid lines are great, but obviously this doesn't have any grid lines in it, but we're gonna go ahead and peel this away because I'm just gonna eyeball it. I think this is from the brocant or brocant. Okay, you have to be careful because it will really grab on there and stick super quickly. Okay, I am committed now. So I see I'm missing a teeny little letter here. I don't think it matters, but I'm gonna go ahead and, boy, that really will stick to glass super easily like look already this is just 
transfer on right off with very little effort. There we go. It looks great. So I'm gonna burnish this just a little bit more. I'm actually gonna take the paper and just flip it over and just use that to burnish my transfer down just a little bit more. I'm gonna set the glass aside and work on the frame a little bit. I think that the it looks like a morning glory in here. I didn't know that there were pink morning glories. I thought they were all blue. Maybe I'm wrong. But anyway, the flower in here looks to me like this desert rose color. So, I'm trying to <laughs> show you desert rose. <laughs> so, that is what I'm going to paint the frame. This is uh, silk from the Dixie Belle collection and this has a primer and a sealer built in already. I think we're only going to need one coat on here trying to pick up all that detail and then I'll probably use a wax or something um, to further enhance it. Give it that aged look. This is so relaxing. I love doing you know detail work like this or just just painting just mindless painting there's not much thought required uh, on a project like this the short answer on how to seal um, transfers on glass or mirrors is you really can't uh, anything that you would add on top of that transfer is just going to look filmy on glass um, i've done it successfully many times. It's just something that you uh, kind of have to baby a little bit. Um, you know, if you sell it, just make sure that the end user knows. You could maybe put a little care tag on there um, that not to use any harsh cleaners, just soft rags or, you know, that type of thing. Not, not to certainly scrub it in any way. Um, and that's pretty much it. There's not really much you can do to seal a transfer on glass. You could use a spray, but I do think that you might end up getting sort of a film on that. And I don't think you want that because it looks so pretty on the glass. So transfers aren't really meant to be used on glass. I don't think the inlays were either. But you know how us DIYers are. We always want to push the envelope and see what we can do uh, to take our projects to the next level. In the background, you can see the project that I worked on a couple weeks ago, which was a two part because I had a uh, fail. So what I started to do, the story, short story, <laughs> is to apply um, a paint inlay to the back of my glass then I wanted it to show through um, I'm not exactly 100% sure what went wrong in that scenario but I'm definitely not afraid to try it again but what I did then was I decided to use since it was a very specific design I wasn't going to waste it entirely I just decided that I was going to um, do use the paper that didn't show through the glass as decoupage paper then i ended up with lines that you could see through from the the edges of the paper so then i used a paint inlay on the front of the glass uh, and applied it so obviously the longer it sits the more uh, it's going to adhere to that glass but you know if someone comes along with a razor blade it's history so yeah those those are the things that you just they're pretty but you really can't seal on the glass um, but we are going to experiment today we're going to use a spray 
and we're going to use a paint on sealer and see what happens. Uh, keep in mind that if we were to paint our glass with chalk paint, that that would change the composition of the glass. And then it would be more like painting or, or having putting the transfer on a piece of painted furniture. And in that case, we can definitely seal it. One thing I'm going to try, I have these plain pieces of glass. I was given a bunch of these and no frames, so I'm going to do something with them. So it's perfect for our experiments today. But I'm going to use uh, this traditional pots transfer from Iron Orchid Designs. And there's a whole sheet in there. It comes with four different sheets. Two of them are black and one of them has blue print, and then the other one is white. So I'm gonna use the white on the front and then paint the black, the back in black <laughs> and play, you know, play that song while we're at it. <laughs> no, copyright, can't do that. I looked up this transfer, the words online, because I kind of always want to know what it is. It has birds, but it says D-E-D-I-E -E in French. So I looked it up and it means dedicated. So I guess these are dedicated birds. I don't know <laughs> what that means exactly. Never any problems with sticking with these. So there's one. And we're just gonna go ahead and do the other one too. Even though we're experimenting, we're just gonna go for it. Okay, we just wanna do that extra step and burnish them. I'm gonna put them side by side here. Okay, and now we're going to flip them over because we're going to paint the underside of the glass. Get all my junk out of the way here and wipe this off because my table, we did a class last night and it has all kinds of scraps from our uh, molds that we were doing. So we're going to be using uh, Dixie Belle's Caviar, which is the blackest black. So I thought that would really make these pop. Now the thing is with glass, if we just did one coat, it's going to be really see-through. So we're going to have to put several coats on and we're also going to have to put them in opposite directions because if we just go in one direction, you're just going to see all those little lines and brush strokes. So um, we'll kind of cross hatch it so that you don't see through um, the the glass. a lot more opaque this time but I still see a little bit through there so one more coat and we'll be sure looks like our mirror frame is all dry and so I'm going to wax it I don't know why but I'm using one of these um, acid brushes they call them from uh, Harbor Freight I usually use these for glue because they're just super cheap and you can throw them away but it's really kind of a good texture to use uh, for wax because we are also gonna use some Dixie Dirt on here too.
going to use Dixie Belle Clear Coat Flat and coat the surface of this and we'll see what happens. So we might end up liking this. I guess because I did the frame so antique I thought this would be the time to experiment on this. Who knows? I might do a coat in the other direction, see what that looks like, and I might just paint the back um, instead of doing the mirror finish on it because the mirror finish now is not going to be that spectacular or shiny on it. But I'm, I'm really not hating this look. So we'll carry on. That's how that looks. And I kind of like it. Down here it got a little weird. But I feel like it looks old and aged. And now what I'm going to do is put some of that caviar on the back. And now for our wood project, I'm using Dixie Belle's French linen on this piece of pine board. While that dries, I move on to the next wood project. I bought this reduced after Valentine's Day at the dollar store. It was only a dollar to begin with and it was 75% off, so it only cost me a quarter. I tried and tried to get the X and the O off. I had already decided it was going to be a Father's Day present, so I figured, what the heck? We love our fathers. We like to give them hugs and kisses, so we're going to go with it. Use caviar, and I paint around the X and the O. I figure might as well leave that wood look, because dads like to work with wood. At least some of them do. It looks a little more masculine. I flip them over to paint the back side, also in the caviar. While that's drying, I start working with some molds because that's what I'm going to use to frame our raw glass pieces with. Since this isn't a video about molds, I'm not going to go into any detail about that, except that I'm using the new Dainty Flourishes mold, along with the uh, Trimmings 3 mold, I think. 2 mold, I'm not sure which one. I'm using Tight Bond Thick and Quick. <music> Now I'm adhering the transfer on our painted wood piece and I'm using the birds from the brocante transfer and I just love this image I always have. Now I'm picking a couple mushroom images from Milo's pages transfer.
I'm going to use the letterpress stamp and white ink to make the words on our other tag. So I have mushrooms on one and then we're going to have um, a message on the other side. I haven't used this for a while so I'm making sure that it has plenty of ink on it. I already laid out my letters so I'm just lining them up. just want to make sure there's enough room for all of my letters. I lost my I so I'm using my J and I put a little piece of tape down to, to block the bottom of the J so that it looks like an I. So I'm just using that white stamp pad and getting it inked up and lined up. Now I'm just using the individual letters that I had already used. There's only one of each to finish spelling out my message. And there you have it. Happy Father's Day to a fun guy. Uh, hopefully dad gets it and he likes mushrooms i'm just touching up a little bit of paint i'm using a little bit of grunge glaze and i am just putting it on the that raw wood to kind of give it a little bit of a stained look again trying to keep it on the the masculine looking side I also take it just around the edges. It doesn't do a whole lot, but it just distresses it just a little bit, gives it a little bit more of a worn look. I have to be honest, I love all the frilly things, but I kind of like the Father's Day gift one the best. <laughs> now I'm using some of that glaze on our air dry clay. I haven't painted it or anything, but I just want to bring some of the detail out by using that glaze. And I also use it around the edges of our wood plaque. Once that's dry, I use that same Dixie Belle clear coat in flat that we used on the glass from the picture from the uh, Rocant transfer, the other one with the morning glory on it and the pink frame. I seal our other wood project with Dixie Belle's Easy Peasy Spray Wax. This wax is awesome because, well, it's a spray. You simply shake it up and then just spray it on your project and immediately you can see how it richens the colors. It makes those transfers pop, it makes the stamps pop, and I just love it. Now I'm just kind of dabbing at it, but this isn't running. Those inks are permanent, but this is adequate to seal your transfers in as well. Here I have a cylinder vase from the dollar store that I had laying around and it was spray painted gray a while back. So I just grabbed it and I'm applying a transfer on it as well. And then I use Rust-Oleum's 2X clear coat to seal it and we'll see what that looks like. We also talked about doing paint inlays and how we would seal them as well. So basically it's going to be the same way as we would seal the transfers. We can either use wax or we can use a clear liquid sealer. But before we do that, we have to take an extra step. Because the paint inlay is paint and it's water-based, if you use a water-based sealer on top of it, whether it's wax or whether it's a liquid sealer, it's going to muddy up that image. 
So you have to uh, either give it a spray with the Rust-Oleum 2X clear coat like I do, and that always works for me, or you can use your clear coat and a 50-50 solution with water in a mister bottle. I find that to be a little bit of a pain in the butt, so I just go ahead and use the 2X clear coat before I use any other sealer on top. I hope that cleared things up. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I also hope you enjoy looking at the final products. Of course, I'd love it if you join our members group and you get to help decide what we talk about on Tuesday Talk. Just click that join button and you'll also get added to a special Facebook group. I put a hanger on the back of this one and hung it out on my back porch that I just did over and I really like it. So this is on wood and it is sealed with clear sealer and I think it'll be just fine. This was the painted glass that was sealed with the 2X clear spray sealer. It wasn't too cloudy, I kind of like it and I think I would use that again even on those two little plaques that I did. Although I'm gonna keep them like they are cause I like them shiny. I love this little project. Who knew a Valentine XO would make a great Father's Day gift? But I think it turned out really good. And this is the wood and the transfer on this one was sealed with wax. And we used the Easy Peasy Wax from Dixie Bell. It brightened up the color and it makes a perfectly adequate sealer. Or you can use paste wax as well. Here's the transfer on glass with the brushed on clear coat. Not my favorite because it definitely made lines. I don't think this is going to be adequate, but for this uh, kind of vintage looking picture, not bad, but I wouldn't do it again. Here are the two transfers on glass with no sealer. And I think they'll be perfectly fine in my own home. Which project is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. Visit us at LaVintageDecor.company. On Instagram, we're LaVintageDecor. And on Facebook, we're LaVintageDecor Altoona. Stay well.